Hello, welcome to another video on my thoughts on the current comic market. And for this video, I will also use the latest uh, auction results from Heritage uh, that just finished last week, July 2020. Um, in this video, I'm going to use some of the results just to uh, highlight the key point that I want to talk about as far as the market. Now, one of the things that is going very strong right now in the market is the modern tier. Okay, there is a lot of hot books, lots of speculation, a lot of books that triple, quadruple, went up 10 times to what they were, say, last month or last year. So there's a lot of activities going on with um, the modern market. And in my, my recent chat, uh, comic book investment chat, in my recent comic book investment chat, I talk about how there is definitely something different between the different tiers of buyers. You know, surely a lot of people that speculate in the modern market may not be the same people that buy and sell or invest or collect big keys in the five or six figures is a different beast, okay? It's very different from buying a book for $500 compared to buying something for $90,000. It's just a different categories of collectors slash speculators slash dealers or buyers. So it, there is um, significant differences between the two markets. So let's take a look at this book. Okay, Captain America won, 3.5 went for 90,000. And the one thing about Heritage result is that you can always go down and take a look at previous books with the same grade, if they have it, in a database. You know, as well as GPA, because they report to GPA as well. But you can see this book, okay, back in 2018, another copy, and it's not a very good copy, it's light tan, so it's significantly inferior when it comes down to page quality. Look at that, 119,000, yeah. Now, is a 90,000 horrible? It's not good, but for those that paid attention to my um, June market report that I used the uh, comic link results to show, you notice or remember that there was a 4.0 that went for a hundred thousand dollars. So if you do, you know, the price per point calculation, then this ninety thousand actually is slightly better than the result over at Comic Link for the 4.0. But still, you know, if as as I said repeatedly on my channels all the time. Entry points matter. It doesn't matter how great a book is. If you overpay for something, then, well, it might not be a good investment for many years to come. Now, let's take a look at this book. Another one. <coughs> Excuse me. You have a pedigree. Captain America 3. 52,800. Beautiful book, okay? Now, there's not a heck of a lot of data for this book particular copy on Heritage, so you can see the last time was 2010, so you can't really use that, okay? You cannot use that, but still, 52.8, so let's go to GPA and see if there's anything worthwhile. So let's go to GPA. Here we go. Okay, you see that right there? That's the one from Heritage that is recorded by GPA, so yeah, right there, but take a look. Back in 2018, over two years ago, there was a copy that was not a pedigree, same grade, that went for 55000 So, yeah, I mean, it's not huge, but it's below 2018. And, of course, one book, only one book. So, it's one of those hard-to-find books, tough to compare, but still, the number says it, it's below. And then, if you look at, you know, other grade, the 5.0, look at the 5.0. That happened in July 2020, look at that. 23,400, okay, so you can do the math and see for yourself if price per point means anything here. Not, right? <laughs>
Let's take a look at another book. How about a Superman one? 360. Now, if you don't know anything about this book, you may look at the 360 as, oh my God, that's a lot of money. That must be a great price. Guess again. Guess again. Okay, look at that. 5.0. 456,000. Okay, once again, a, a copy with less page, lesser page quality. Okay, take a look at that. Yeah. Cream to off white. 456. Yeah. That's a huge dip. Okay. Huge. Okay. Ugly. How about this one? All Star 8. First Wonder Woman. Right? 4.0. 31,200. Can't be good. Look at that. Can you believe it? Back in May of 2020, a slightly brittle page went for more. Yeah. Yeah. May. 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 <laughs> May of 2020, slightly brittle, went for more. What happened to the market rebound in June? How about uh, 2017? Look at that, 53,775. Goodness gracious, right? So yeah, 31,200, not good. No other way to paint the tape here, okay? Now, when I come down to Silver Age, okay, this auction have a lot of big books, you know, as with many heritage auction. Lots of big books. Heritage, you know, has all kind of great big, big books. For deep pockets buyer, tail suspense 39, 9.4, 99,000. Yeah, not bad. Okay, not great. You can check GPA, but not bad. Okay, when a pedigree books back in 2017, sold for 95.6, yes, 99,000 is not a record. Okay, but still, it's okay. It's holding in there, it's holding steady. For a silver age key, a big book, $99,000. How about Amazing Fantasy 15? This book, look at that. This 6.0 has a ton of Marvel shipping. Is this the worst Marvel shipping I have ever seen for a 6.0 book? I don't know. I may have seen worse, but definitely this is up there, okay, as far as heavy Marvel shipping. 6.0, 48,000. Yeah. Back in August 2019, a white page, yeah, 57.6, okay, it's white page. I can just look at the little pictures there and see that, you no, know, no marble chipping, okay, look at that, see? Still, 48,000 compared to 57.6, so, yeah, when I come down to big books, boy, not all is well. How about a Hulk? One seven point oh white page, gorgeous. Okay, well, gorgeous. Now, I believe this book used to be restored. Okay, I use it used to be restored, and somebody unrestore it. Okay, you can see it. They sc scrape the color touch on the spine. Okay, that does not look like any kind of normal <laughs> spine wear. Yeah, forty three thousand two hundred for a seven point oh. There you go. Look at. Look at this book in the previous recent sales of 2018 and 2019. So Hulk 1 doing okay. All right, doing okay. So there you go. You know, when it comes down to this, this market, you know, unless you pay attention to all market, gold, silver, bronze, modern, you really can see a huge difference in how different tiers of buyers are uh, either buying or not buying okay it's never the exact same thing this is not a market that rising tide lift all boats okay for those that you know play in the modern area i'm sure they will say the market's doing great i have no idea what people are talking about as far as a comic book crash now if you pay strictly in the big golden age keys 
that world may be not so pretty, right? So depends on what you're collecting. It's not the same across the board, okay? This is not a healthy market that everything is okay. It's not. Something is not okay for a lot of books. <laughs> and that's it on my thoughts on the current comic market. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.